So, I mean, the, the, the problems within the, within the cocoa industry were, were recognised you know, more, more than 10 years ago. Uh, a lot of pressure was put on the, on the chocolate companies. Um, there was a threat of legislation in the, in the US in 2001, um, whereby there was going to be legislation that uh, would prevent chocolate companies from selling product that had been sold, that had been produced with, uh, with child labour. Yep. Um, the, the chocolate industry re reaction to that was uh, don't legislate. As, you know, as an industry, we will, we will take control of this. We'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. And what came out of that was the, the Harkin Engel protocol in 2001 with, with a target of uh, removing um, child labor, eliminating child labor from the, co from the cocoa supply chains by 2005. Um, come 2005, they renegotiated the deadline to 2008. From 2008, it was moved out to, to 2010, and uh, I mean this this year there's been a there's been a final report that that really says the the oversight of, of child labour within the cocoa industry is, is no better now than it was in, in 2001, um, and and I think you know to, to be fair the, the the chocolate companies completely underestimated the the problem, mm. um, and the the sort of structures that they were putting in place were trying to eliminate the problem rather than deal with the root causes. Well, I mean